AM 13 weather. It is a foggy night atop Red Mountain. Uh, you see Vulcan here shrouded in fog and low clouds. Birmingham at 58 degrees. We're going to drop a few more degrees or, or through the early part of tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon. It should get just a shade warmer than it did today because we won't see quite as much rain. It's still raining in Tuscaloosa and Bibb counties, but this little patchy shower that's dropping southeast of Woodstock down toward West Blockton is moving away from Vance and Tuscaloosa and moving south of Birmingham. And I think most of the rain is essentially over, at least the appreciable rainfall for Jefferson County, Walker County, Cullman County with this round. And tomorrow, even where it's raining today, there will still be a chance of a little bit more in the way of wet weather. So light showers continue, mist, fog, sprinkles in the overnight hours, foggy and damp to start tomorrow morning. Some of the fog could be very, very thick on ridge tops. Above, say, six, seven hundred feet in elevation, you could go from no fog whatsoever in the valley, topping a hill, and you can't see the hand in front of your face. Tomorrow afternoon, an isolated shower, mainly southeast of Birmingham, only about a 20% chance of a shower on Monday, a 30% chance of a shower with a stiff breeze out of the south on Tuesday, and then Wednesday, we push that chance of rain all the way up to 100% because a big storm system developing to the west that threatens severe weather over Louisiana, Arkansas, and even into Mississippi starts to move this direction. Right now, the way things look, the primary risk of severe weather in Alabama out in that uh, day four period, the Storm Prediction Center doesn't do the slight moderate high with that. What they do is just outline an area where severe storms are possible. Sumter County, Marengo County, Choctaw County. I wouldn't be surprised to see this move north just a little bit toward Utah, Forkland, and then uh, over toward maybe the Clanton area too. But I think there's really just going to be too much rain overall for this to be a major severe weather risk for the state of Alabama north of US Highway 80. There's 9 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. Very heavy rain coming through, and it takes it all day and all night Thursday night for those showers, or Wednesday night into Thursday morning for those showers to get through. That's why Wednesday is an impact day for heavy rainfall. 64 degrees, the high spotty showers between now and then, but the big time rain arrives after that, and we will likely see anywhere from about say two to four inches of rain north of Birmingham, uh, a bit less than that down to the south. Beyond that, Ryan, big change, big change, colder. big change. I'm yeah. off some of those days. That's not fair, but hey, change is OK, especially